Now caught behind. Well, the youngster has struck. That's a huge wicket for India. Mark Wall, who played so well in this big match. I, to bowl the first ball. Oh, and that one drags back off the stumps. Very nearly a dramatic start. Just a lazy sort of from Mark Wall, just taking the bat away from the ball, and it uh, actually hit. Oh, good shot. Beautiful cover drive. That's where he likes them. Well pitched up. The idea was right. He was just... Oh, nice straight drive again. That's what he's best at. He really does love it up there and quite straight. Actually, that was a good shot. He hit that one on the up. Oh, there's that cut shot. Well fielded. Mohamed Azra then in the gully. He's moved from second step to gully. And quite fancy getting Gilchrist in that area. He does cut in the air a little bit, but he cuts firmly. Oh, he's got him. He's out. Caught behind. Well, the youngster has struck. That's a huge wicket for India. Mark Wall, who played so well in these big matches, has gone after a wide delivery. Huge nick. And Mongia doesn't drop this replay. It was a wide delivery. He normally hits them for four. Well, it wasn't the best ball that Agarka's bowled, but it's turned out to be a magic delivery. Steve Waugh caught by surprise with the width and pace. He's out for seven. Ricky Ponting replacing Mark Waugh. He's the new batsman. Oh, he's gone! He's gone! He's gone behind! Well, that's a big blow. Ricky Ponting played at a wide delivery. Another bad shot. The Australians are in trouble. Prasad bowled a wide delivery. It may have moved just a little bit, but I... Yeah, and the Australians have... Suffered a little bit, but Prasad has bowled very well. It's been a great start by him. He's in his third over and he's got one for one. Ponting's out for one. He's... Watchfully played. Oh, well played. He's such a good player outside off stump. They're going to have to rethink their line to Gilchrist. That's his third down. You can't bowl outside his off stump. You can't be too full and you can't be too short. Yeah. Years of age. Oh, outside the off stump, and there's a big appeal. They're asking the question. The umpire's not interested in it. The Indians reckon they've got it. Well, he's consulting. This could be out. I think he's on his way. I think he's going to say he's out. The Indians reckon they've got him. Maybe underneath the bat, the bottom of the bat. The fieldsman has slipped the jet. And up she goes. Well, the wicketkeeper wasn't appealing. Oh, well. I think Tom Moody might be a bit unlucky. Well, the Indians are really making it count. Let's have a look. Watch the keeper. He catches it. No reaction from Mongia. Now, if ever anyone appeals in the game of cricket... Well, this is another boundary. Just straying on to leg stump. Just three fielders on the onside, so plenty of gaps. Another boundary here for Gilchrist. That was a very good shot. So... Just short of the man at mid -wicket. Let's turn nicely on the onside, a chase for Kanitka. And those two runs bringing up the 50 for Australia. This time he's beaten mid on again. I don't think the bowler should be put off too much by this. I think uh, he should be quite pleased to see that Michael Bevan is, uh, is trying to thrash him in the air down the ground. Yes, I've gone straight to the field right mid on. Well, that's well struck. It's over. No, just short of the rope. Well hit. That's an area where they think uh, that Bevan is strong around uh, the off stump. He drives fluently on the offside, so they find to cramp him uh, quite often, trying to flick the ball to the onside. Ah! Oh, he's got him! Yes, yeah, got behind. Big wicket. Well, that time Mongia was up straight away, and once again we see Gilchrist trying to play the cut shot to a ball just a little bit too close. And well, that is the one they wanted because Gilchrist has looked a danger man today. India. Or as he tries to cut away, fake little Nick, good catch by Mongia. Up he goes, and Gilchrist knows it's all over. So out for a very well played 45. Oh, that's well played. Straight down the ground, a couple of bounces, three bounces in defence for four. So he's just been waiting for it, Stephen Waugh. You don't often see him hit the ball in the air. Well, that time he decided to hit it in the air, into the va vacant straight. Trying to hit it all the way over the boundary. He just wanted to make sure he got enough elevation to get it back over the bowler's head. looking for the two Bevan is but uh, Steve Waugh doesn't want to come and here's trouble Steve Waugh's been left stranded in fact Michael Bevan's the one that's out 
I thought there was going to be a problem with Bevan. Steve Waugh was never looking for two there. Michael Bevan ran the two. But Steve Waugh never left the crease, and that's a tragedy for Australia. That is a biggie. Steve Waugh shot. And that's four. Not quite where Darren Levin meant it. That's what Steve Waugh will do. He'll block the good ones, and he'll try to take toll of the others. Just got about uh, 15 a bit over still to go. Go team. Right, so that's a good over for Australia. Hasn't worked for India. Oh, he's got that fine chase for Prasad, but the ball will win. Good cricket from Darren Lehman, and uh, such a contrast to the way he played the up trying to build everything on that occasion. Just made sure that he got the bat on the ball and then just rolled the wrist to get it away uh, fine. Make sure that he brought up the boundary. Yesterday he's allowing the ball to come onto the bat. Even on that occasion, it was a quite deliberate shot. Very skillfully played. And another boundary for Dan Lehman. That brings up the 200 for... Did he get an edge there? Oh. He doesn't seem too excited. Partnership worth uh, 19, that's a record. And the Indians now need a wicket. That's another boundary on the onside. He split the gap in the outfield. And, and that means there's pressure on the bowler when you hit to the boundary of the first delivery. Well, well played, Dan Lenham. That's 50 for him. That's the second fastest 50 of this tournament. And his captain and his teammates will be very, very happy with this. Again, he's gone in the air, and this time, very, very well taken in the deep. The young man sprinting across to his left and taking the ball with two hands. So the breakthrough has come India's way. Australia have lost their sixth wicket. Um, but he's a good athlete, and that's an excellent catch. Not easy to catch them when you've got to be running flat out. He didn't have a chance to get into position and set himself. When you're running flat out like that, the eyes are bobbing up and down. That's an excellent catch by Agurka. War is gone for 70. Oh, nice deflection. That'll go to the fence for four. That's a nice, delicate little leg glide. The sort of shot that... Uh, well, look at the pain there. Now, that does tell a story. Yeah, that, uh, that tells how... Where he didn't give uh, Batsman too many uh, opportunities to score. Now, when uh, his team needs uh, him to... Ball. I want to try and keep it quiet, yeah. Oh, that's a good shot. Much better. Way over the top down there at deep mid-wicket. That's a much better way to play these uh, these Indian spinners. If you're going to hit them, don't try and slog it right across the line. He advanced down the pitch. Hit it with the spin. A good shot again. He's lost his bat, but he's hit the ball for four. That's eight runs. In, oh, it's ten runs. Short delivery. Whacked away down a deep square leg. This will be cut off. I'll come back to the second, though. And this throws a good one. Well, Lehman, just for a second there, was a little bit pushed. Agarka, he'll be... Uh, that's a great hit. It's going out oh, It's going to be caught. It's not quite off the middle of the bat. Yes, taken. Lehman tried to hit the six way down towards long on. And unfortunately, he didn't get it on the, in the middle of the bat. Sung V, the fieldsman down there, has made the catch. Never looked as if he was going to drop. Far in one day, the Nationals. He had to go for it in these circumstances. And there's the catcher. Yes, with less than three overs left, uh, there was no option uh, but to go for the biggest try and get as many on board. Australia. And he's lobbed it away on the offside. Will they come back? Don't think so. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Martin's coming back. He's going to be run out. Oh, I can't believe this. Shane Warne, in these circumstances, you've got to be looking for the two runs. Damien Martin is awesome. And this was definitely a two. Well, I got thinking there by Ajay Jaleja. He was throwing to the end of the batsman. It was a little slower. And that is Shane Warne. He knew that Damien Martin was looking to get to the strikers. Out. Oh, that's in the air. This will be out court. They haven't dropped anything tonight. Got him. That's another one down. Kastrovitz hits that one way up in the air. And that's his 100th wicket in one day internationals. Enkatesh Prasad has bowled beautifully tonight. That was a slower delivery. It went straight up in the air. 
Yes, he goes that slow delivery beautifully. Disguises it uh, very well. The batsman uh, do not always pick it in time. This is what happened with Kasparovic, and he's only a tail ender. Deceived by that slow one, hitting a simple cast to Kanekar at long off. He's out for a duck in Australia, nine down to two. Oh, well bowled, and that's gone further, keeper. That was a good delivery. Well, you can't ask a young man to do anything more than that. He's bowled the most beautiful straight Yorker, really fast, and it's beaten everyone. Sir, taken Mongia by surprise, didn't quite bounce. This is a very good Yorker. Field has spread, the last ball of the Australian innings. No, they've decided not to run. In fact, Mongia did very well there. He stopped. That is well done by Nyan Mongia. Who knows? It might be that individual, that single run that makes a difference. Yes, when it's a match between two sides which are well matched, then uh, definitely the odd run can make the difference between victory and defeat. The Indians will be a little disappointed having at Australia three down for 26. Tied up there at the top, he bowled beautifully. Two for 32 and he's completed his 100 wickets in one day internationals. Agaka just a little bit expensive. Kumbli, well he was solid again and remember...